क्योंकि अगर आप नहीं हंस रहे तो बन रहा है इज्जत का फलूदा कॉमेडी <laughs> 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 You know, there's a lot of doom and gloom currently in our real lives, and what happens when we experience horrible circumstances and want some form of normalcy or endorphins to kick into our body? We often transport ourselves to a place that calms us down or makes us forget those, even if momentarily, traumatic moments. This is when artists come into the picture and provide a sense of escapism through their content. For strictly entertainment purposes, for those who are privileged enough to be safe and in their homes, the OTT platforms have provided the avenue of escape. of laughter of joy and even inspiration through storytelling so when i saw two of my favorite comedic actors were involved in a project which has the sole intention of making audiences laugh i was geared up and ready to go little did i know that the show lol hase to phase would aggravate my anxiety and make me introspect about the purpose of life as i aimlessly tried to watch and analyze this piece of work for all of you that don't know lol hase to phase is a structured reality tv show that invites comedians to a bootleg big boss set and gives them a 6 hour window to make each other laugh with the structure as organized as rajiv chowk during peak hours the last person standing who doesn't flinch to even provide a glimpse of laughter wins 25 lakhs the 6 episode series sounds semi interesting right i also thought so is it though nahi <laughs> <laughs> First of all I just want to put out a disclaimer that my criticism of this show is not because of the comedians involved in it but the execution of the format of the show is so poor that I definitely experienced a migraine cause of all the incessant shouting more than anything else listen up Cyrus Broja is probably one of my favorite comedians and conversationalists. I also saw a lot of Instagram videos of Kusha Kapila back in the day and the content she used to focus on. I wouldn't lie that I have gotten over her style and tropes of comedy, but I went through what most consumers go through with comedians. You have phases where you connect with them and other moments where you just don't see their content for a long time. I remember the time where Malika Dua and her characters on Instagram were the rage. All of these people have made me chuckle one time or the other. Even Marsi comedians like Suresh Mehta and Sunil Grover despite their form of comedy not being my cup of tea i will still never forget laughing my ass off when grover performed gerua on comedy nights with kapil in front of kajol you get what i'm saying the talent is not the problem amazon prime video watching the end product of this show and actually thinking that people will be entertained is the baffling part This is probably the easiest paycheck that these comedians may have gotten. Appear for a day's work to improvise and faff around and you're done with the series greenlit by an OTT platform that has access to such a huge market. I actually recorded myself watching the entire show and this is another disclaimer for anything that I watch and want to talk about on this channel. I never want a project to fail. That will be never my intention while talking about art. I will always and forever be for the artists and the creators. But I was shocked to notice that a reality TV comedy show didn't even generate a moment of laughter within me. So a show where contestants have to make each other laugh Is it even successful in doing the bare minimum? You will be shocked. Anybody want the picture with my cock? Sir, aap aap kheenche to lagega cock cock ke sath selfie le raha hai. Uh, sure, theek hai. The show creators caution the contestants with a yellow card if they first laugh and eliminate them if they do the same again with a red card. The ironic part about this show is that as the time passed, no one could make each other laugh, both because of the disorganized structure as well as well, let's be truthful, because all the comedians were bombing on this show terribly for that matter. So even a smirk or a hint of one flinching or even the case of someone playing a joyful character to make someone laugh, individuals would be cautioned for that. Because I assume the creators thought, "Is it a show? Kabi khatam nii hoga." It was like sitting through a bad improv show where the actors keep on integrating the first rule of yes and, but it only led to those hypothetical situations coming across as annoying, childish, and just downright boring. <laughs> I would dare anyone to watch this show in one go because I genuinely think that it is physically impossible. 
It tests your patience to such a level that I wouldn't know any sane person who would watch this show in one stretch. It's for anyone's sake necessary to get up and go for a breather because the format of the show only will make your ears bleed or just like me contemplate about why I'm wasting my time watching this show in the first place. I mean people that you would have expectations from like Akash Gupta seem so bored out of their mind that even if you're a fan of some of these artists I mean how much can you lie to yourself when your favorite comedian is cracking bad jokes itna bada stand koi bhi nahi ho sakta This made me think that you know a sense of structure like that of a show like whose line is it anyway would have actually been better for the talent involved in the show. I mean you're testing the capability of these performers to think on the spot and make the people from the same industry laugh. Right? So why not add games that make them tap into that part of their brain to help create a laser like focus approach rather than whatever this was because honestly at several points of this show Kuch bhi was happening. I worked with Gaurav Gera as a dancer, and he is a very animated performer. And you have to give him credit for his commitment to the show. But while watching this, especially his performance, I was reminded of all the childish, silly humor we were subjected to in the '90s and early 2000s in Bollywood movies. It sometimes seems like these artists are still stuck in that time warp of what is considered to be funny. I mean, the same South Indian jokes followed by something about potty, and then leading on to more trivial double meaning jokes is something that. the audiences are tired of the brand of humor in films like masti and kya kule hum is in full swing on this show the hilarious part is that the show is 6 episodes long but the episodes get shorter and shorter as the minutes pass by making me think that the creators were just like let's get this done with and acknowledge that eventually the audience will get supremely annoyed of the content I wouldn't want to comment specifically on who I think is funny and who isn't because these individuals have their own audience but it would be tough for me to deny that the format itself is a downright atrocity in the case that doesn't help the image of these artists but I'm sure they couldn't care less it's an easy day's work again and a handsome paycheck Amazon Prime Video presented us Hello Charlie 3 weeks ago and they have contributed to another comedic gem on the same lines watch this at your own risk honestly who am i kidding don't even try this one and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the show please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching